As she drove down the winding road, she couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. The trees seemed to loom over her car, their branches reaching out like gnarled fingers. Suddenly, she saw a figure in the middle of the road. She slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. First, this is a true life story. It was a dark and stormy night, the kind of night where you want to curl up with a good book and a cup of tea. But for Jane, that wasn't an option. She was running late for her best friend's birthday party, and the rain was pouring down in sheets. She couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right as she drove down the winding road. The trees seemed to loom over her car, their branches reaching out like gnarled fingers. Suddenly, she saw a figure in the middle of the road. She slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. She got out of the car to check on the person, but there was no one there. Just an empty road with the rain pounding down around her. She got back in her car and drove on, but the feeling of unease stayed with her. As she rounded a bend in the road, she saw a light up ahead. Relief washed over her as she realized it was the house where the party was being held. But as she pulled up to the house, she realized something was off. The windows were dark and there were no cars in the driveway. She got out of her car and cautiously approached the house. The front door was ajar, creaking slightly in the wind. She pushed the door open and stepped inside. The house was completely silent, except for the sound of the rain on the roof. She called out to her friend, but there was no response. She walked through the house searching for any sign of life, but it was empty. Suddenly, she heard a noise coming from the basement. She hesitated for a moment, then slowly made her way down the stairs. The basement was pitch black and she fumbled for a light switch. When she finally found it, she flipped it on and gasped. In the middle of the basement was a table with a birthday cake on it. The cake was decorated with her friend's name, but it was covered in cobwebs and dust. It looked like it had been sitting there for years. As she turned to leave, she heard a noise behind her. She spun around, but there was no one there. Just a creaking sound, like someone was walking on the stairs. Jane's heart was pounding in her chest as she made her way back up the stairs. She didn't know what was going on, but she knew she needed to get out of the house. As she reached the top of the stairs, she felt a cold hand on her shoulder. She screamed and spun around, but there was no one there. Just the sound of laughter <laughs> echoing through the house. She ran out the front door into her car, her hands shaking as she tried to unlock it. Finally, she got the door open and jumped inside, locking the doors behind her. As she drove away, she glanced in her rearview mirror. The house was still dark and silent, but she could have sworn she saw a figure standing in the doorway, watching her. She drove home as fast as she could, her mind racing with questions. What had happened to her friend? Why was the house empty? And who or what had been in the basement with her? She never found out the answers to those questions, but she never forgot that night, the night of the unfortunate evening.